We got to lock in because this is a must win game right in front of us. We're currently sitting at 13 and two. That is the same exact record as the Tennessee Titans. He was down 14 in the fourth quarter, came back and won his game. So he's still putting a lot of pressure on us. We got to win out if we're trying to get this first round by. And then for the LA Rams, you may see his record six and nine. You're thinking, oh, he's probably eliminated from the playoffs. This guy can literally win his division. The NFC is a battle. I mean, look at these records. Like this division from top to bottom is so competitive compared to the one I'm in. I think I said division, I meant conference. Yeah, the NFC, there's a lot of good players in here, a lot of good quarterbacks, a lot of good teams. I'm gonna show you guys this Rams roster. I wanna say the last like few leagues I've been in, we've seen it where one conference is like so much better than the other. I got a bit lucky because this year I'm in the conference that I would say is a little bit worse than the other. Like I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm just saying if I was in the NFC, our regular season would be a lot tougher. This guy's got a decent offense. What's the defense looking like? DJ Reader in the middle of that front seven. He's got Rashawn Evans, Josh Allen coming off the edge. He's got Stephon Gilmore, Greedy Williams, Anthony Brown. I remember I was trying to trade for him. Free safety, Deshaun Elliott, strong safety, Julian Love. Rashawn Gary, we're going to keep going speed rusher. I love upgrading his finesse move. He's already got good power move. So then if we can get his finesse move up, you know, he'll be able to do uh, a little bit of everything. Here we got Harrison Smith. I want to say this might be his first upgrade. Uh, he's like the old guy in the team, so he doesn't get too many of these. We got Melvin Gordon. What a freaking stud this guy has been. Plus three stiff arm, plus one trucking. And our final big upgrade, Debo Samuel. We're going to go deep threat. I think I'm going to change uh, some of his abilities here in a second. Uh, but we are going to get plus two release, medium route running, and deep route running. For some reason, I didn't think I'd grab and go on Debo, but I do. Why do I feel like it hasn't been working? This is what I like to see. Starting an offense, the weather's good, the vibes are flowing. We got Debo on the left side. Ooh, that was, for a second I thought for sure it was going to be a catch. Then I thought maybe it could be intercepted. Gilmore on the left side. We got to try and stay away from him. I'm going to go underneath Debo. Oh, I, I can't believe that guy makes that tackle. Fourth down, I'm going for this. I'm going to go across the field, and we got it. Robert Woods. This man has been stepping up so much lately. Let's see if we can get it going this game. The touch pass for Debo. All right, I tried cutting that one up middle. It looked a little more promising. That's essentially a run play for us. That's really all it is. All right, no fan, just standing there wide open. We'll take it. Hey, if you're going to give it to me, I'll pass it to him every time. Third and short. Let's see how your D-line is. We're going to win the battle up front. Gordon, keep fighting. Yep, Debo underneath. Come on. Made one guy miss. And we're going to pick up the first down. Oh, I like this. Noah Fant, that route tech, no. Oh, we're going to be down at the one. I don't know what's going on with his linebackers. I'm just going to run it. Come on. We didn't get in. I spent too much time looking at him. I brought in Ricard. That is a big man going to be leading the way for us. Damn, he did a good job blowing that up. We've gone backwards the last two plays. I'm going to give it to Gordon again. I'm going to fake the touch pass to Debo. That's going to open things up, but we still don't get in. Hopefully, he sells out up the middle. I'm going play action here. Got him open. What a pass by Justin Herbert. Are you kidding me? Everybody does that to me. It feels good that I finally do it to somebody else. My opponent said uh, that should have been an illegal man downfield blocking. Yo, you ain't getting that call in Baltimore. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Adoree Jackson. Our, dude, this is unreal. Like, we have traded for this man. And he's so much better than I could have ever imagined. We got all the momentum at the moment. I hope he bites on this. I'm going for, uh, I'm going over the top here. He sent a blitz. Debo. Oh, he's going to get there. And we got defeated. That's a catch. I'm going to settle in, run the ball here, or I guess go with a little touch pass. I think we can get the edge. Gordon gave us a block. Okay, that, no. You can't tell me he deserved the tackle in that situation. Little screenplay. That was dangerous. But it turns into Melvin Gordon. Being down at the one. I feel like there's been so many crazy plays in this one. I'm going to give it to Gordon again. Dang, his uh, goal line defense is doing a really good job. This normally never happens. I have had the ball for almost the entire first half. I'm going to give it to Gordon again. We're still not going to get in the end zone. 
I feel like at this point we take our field goal. We went for it on fourth and goal once. I don't want to test my luck. That's going to put us up by two possessions. He's probably so triggered at the moment, but like down by 10 points, he could score here, gets the ball in the second half. He's like, he can have the lead by the third quarter. Let's try and catch him off balance. I'm going to send a little bit of pressure here. Oh, the running back's wide open. He's going to try and go deep. And we got another interception. I don't know what's going on. My defense is playing like the no-fly zone. I'm going to go to Noah Fant. He's been really good for us lately. My opponent just used a timeout. He's trying to get this ball back here. Yep, Debo in space. I like it. Now I'm going to call a timeout. Okay, no fan on the sideline. We're going to get out at the 27. I'm trying to preserve this final timeout. I wonder if Gilmore is going to shadow Debo here. No, he's not going to, but I still don't like... Oh, we got... How do we get sacked? I hit the throw away button like eight years ago. That's 100% my fault. I got to do a better job there. I'm just going to take the field goal. We got no timeouts left. I can't really risk running another play. Up by 13. We know this guy is going to come out and give everything. He's got 10 minutes or he's kicked from the league. Okay, I'm just kidding. He's not kicked, but he's like, he's going to be eliminated from the playoffs. I'm going to kind of shadow Keenan Allen. That's the man I'm worried about the most. And there is Rashawn. Gary that's sack number 12 for Gary that might be like the most I've had for a player ever I mean, I normally don't draft like the craziest pass rushers, but I think he might have just passed uh, Parsons third and 14 definitely a tough spot to be in like I said, I'm worried about Keenan Allen We got that man triple teamed. I am making you go somewhere else. He's still trying it I told you you got to go somewhere else chin if we get six on this drive, oh man, it's going to be looking rough for him. Here we go, Debo. Fighting. I was going to come out and run, but yeah, he's got a lot of guys in the box. Oh my goodness, I had Robert Woods so open. He's still open. He was open for so long that he was open twice. The closest player to breaking that pass up was Debo. He almost did. I'm going to give it to Boston Scott. There's no way he saw that coming. All right, guess we're going back to Boston Scott. Fourth and four. If we get this, I feel like it's game over. If we take our points, we're up by 16, which is a lot. All right, you know what? I'm going for it. We're playing aggressive. Robert Woods, that was easy. If I knew it was going to be like that, I wouldn't even have thought about it, honestly. He's going to start sending pressure. Robert Woods, oh, he got the pressure. I can't believe we're already in the fourth quarter. Like, I feel like I've been on offense the whole time. Debo. Good pass, Herbert. That was just perfection. Go get him. This time. Oh, Russell Wilson was staying up. I think Ioannidis might get credit for that sack. Oh, if we're making plays like that, like, what can you do? I feel for him. Like, I know what it feels like to just be helpless. He's going to throw it up. It's going to be another interception. Earl Thomas is going to seal it. I can't believe we've held this man to 45 yards of total offense. Like, I did not see that coming. Debo in space. Got him with the spin. I know he's technically considered a wide receiver, and they, like, never win. If Debo isn't in, like, the top 10 for MVP in this league, like, something's rigged. He's not even going to use his timeout, so we're just going to uh, run the ball one more time. I'm just going to go down. I, I would have took a knee if I knew he wasn't going to call his timeouts. But yeah, that's going to do it. Can we talk about that time of possession? The thing is, it's not even like I was like trying to like milk clock or anything. I feel like this was the big thing, right? So he had four turnovers. He had uh, he, like his first two passing plays in the first half were interceptions. His defense was doing a decent job. We had 11 third downs. We convert six of them. We got four fourth downs. We convert all of them. So he was making us work for it. We just kept converting. That was probably one of our best wins of the year right there. Huge shout out to the opponent. Like, I know obviously the game didn't go uh, as planned for him. Like I said, he still made me work on offense. We just played a very good game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will see you, I think, next week against the Steelers. There's a chance that could be a force win. If it's a force win, I think that means we're guaranteed the one seed, which I don't want. I'm going to try and... Uh, Obviously, I want him to play, even if he's uh, eliminated from the playoffs, because I don't want any freebies. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode, whenever that is.